Hey everyone, this is the Patrick and Carissa. Tomorrow Comes Movies unveiling their final haul from ECCC Emerald City Comic Con in Seattle, Washington. I was trying not to mess that up, so I did it pretty good. So You did. I was going to help you. Yeah, I know. I, I saw that. So this haul is a little bit different because there's some added we, bonuses. We didn't really pick anything up um, per se. Well, we picked something up in a sense of added kind bonus. Kind of. Kind of. So, we will unveil the first pop. Which now, is technically the last pop we picked up of the day. Yes, but I will let Krista talk a little bit about what made this so special in the sense that there was a special thing going on with Viz Media, which I'm wearing the hat. So, Viz Media was doing a panel and they were having a free signing after um, Amanda Miller and uh, Zach Aguilar. Yes. Um, which are voice actors. For and, um, um, Sailor Jupiter. Sailor Jupiter from for Sailor Moon. Crystal. And, um... Your favorite from here. Genos from One Punch Man. But they also do that... They do, uh, Boruto. Yeah. The Next Generations, I think it mm-hmm. is. Yeah, so that's what they were there for. I think it was coming out on DVD and Blu-ray, so they were doing that. Plus, Viz Media had a panel talking about some of the exciting things that are coming out. Mm-hmm. Uh, not just in anime, but, like, manga and, like, this really cool thing that they got coming out. But, after the panel... They are doing a one free signing. As long as it was Viz Media licensed. So, yeah, it had to be Viz Media. So, One Punch Man, which they gave out these awesome hats. The show's coming out next month. Um, you could get something signed for One Punch Man, whether it was... And it also had to be um, legit artwork. It could not be fan artwork, right? Viz Media licensed. So, yeah, so Krissa... Yeah, I know. I, so, <laughs> Krissa forgot to bring her Funko Pop. I did. So, we had to go to... The Fugitive Toys booth. Now, during the wait period for the pop, Krissa and I... Well, actually, Krissa noticed it. She thought there was something wrong with her pop, and she scratched and there was a sticker. So we talked about this right here. You can see Sticker Gate, which we were worried that there was uh, something wrong with the pop. So we had to validate whether or not it was real or not. So I'm going to give this to Krissa right now. And this is very exciting for her because this is uh, this is your favorite anime, correct? Yeah. All right, so I'll unveil it. So I was able to get a Sailor Jupiter pop signed by Amanda Miller. She was a Sailor Jupiter and Sailor Moon Crystal. Um, the sticker here was the one that was covered up. There was a like a manufacturer error. There's also a sticker at the bottom. But I didn't really care. I thought the pop was so cool. I have like two of these already. Um, so we just bought one from the F- Fugitive Toy booth. Um, but Amanda was so nice yeah. and showed to my name. And she signed right there. And I showed me what color. And I said, you pick. And then you said there was something special that she put on the bottom for Sailor Jupiter. Uh, she put Jailer, Sailor Jupiter's, uh, that's her like little like crescent. Now, if you've seen our other two halls, Cousin Sam was with us. He yes. also got one signed. And uh, I think Chris had the experimental ink because like, I think it turns out the black ink looked a lot better, I thought. Yeah. Yeah, but how excited were you? I mean, it's your first it's exciting. Sailor Moon. This is now, I mean, this is your favorite character, correct? Yes. Yes. Do you like the new Sailor Crystal series? Um, I like the original series a little bit better because I watched it as a kid. Um, Crystal is good, though. I want to know, why is Jupiter your favorite? Um, When we were kids, we used to play Sailor Moon, and my cousin Felicia wouldn't let anybody else be Sailor Moon but herself. And so she kind of assigned us our own characters. Really, huh? Yeah. And um, she they told me I was Sailor Jupiter, and I like green, and I thought she was a badass. First Sailor Moon sign pop. So yeah. you have a few others on the back. So, I, I think your goal now is to get... The whole thing, yeah. yeah. So, pretty cool. I think this was really cool. So, yeah, definitely check out Sticker Gate because Chris and I actually went through extensive Batman detective skills to figure out whether or not that this is real. And um, I don't really want to spoil because I want people to check out the video, but definitely check it out. The signature is definitely real. So, the next pop that we got signed was one in particular Chris had got signed at a different convention, which you can see right here, Anime Los Angeles. I believe it's part one or two. You'll see it pop up right there. Um, the story was Chris was um, supposed to get it signed for me, but got so excited meeting the voice actor that they ended up getting it personalized to them. So then I said, okay, well, they're going to be at Emerald. I need to get mine signed. So I'm going to let Chris Hold this beautiful pop. I'll let you it's yours. Oh, okay. So I'm going to unveil this really quick, but this is Urza from Fairy Tale. Uh, the voice actress Colleen Clickenbeard was there. Chris is a big fan of Colleen. So we were waiting in another line. So we jumped over real quick, but 
Yeah, I love Fairy Tail. It's a really good anime, and you should definitely join the guild. Actually, Chris would like this a lot because I, I keep telling her that she's starting out a little bit, but she likes wizards. If you didn't know, she's a big Harry Potter fan. So right I here, am. you know, that's why I'm glad she's starting Fairy Tail because it has um, wizards in it, and Urza. Scarlet is the character that Colleen voices, and I actually think that Colleen does a really good job of how to sign pops because I think Chris pointed this out in the last time. She signs it up on top, and then she does a really nice signature. I think the red goes pretty well as well. Mm-hmm. Now, yours also was signed in red, right? Uh, and blue. No, it's blue. 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 So, very excited to meet Colleen again, and um, yeah, I think the pops are pretty cool. Now, Chris had told me this is actually really heavy. I didn't notice it either. This is, uh, so when we traveled, I was really worried that this pop would, uh, take some damage, but this one survived, and so did Sailor Jupiter's. But, uh, I'm pretty excited to see Colleen again, right? It was good. Yeah, so, uh, pretty excited to finally knock that out. So, my next pop that we got signed was, this was the line I was originally in with Carissa. This was the longest line I think I've ever waited for somebody, right? It, it was pretty insane. It got intense. Uh, yeah, it was a little tense, so they took a break, and that's why, as I just showed you my Urza Scarlet, I went over to her line, because she, she had a, a little bit smaller line about that sign. So this one, this one of the biggest voice actors, like Colleen, this is a legend as well. Um, maybe some of you know the name Christopher Sabat. Chris, you know Christopher Sabat. I know him for All Might in My Hair Academia. He also voices Vegeta, Piccolo, and uh, Yamcha in the Dragon Ball franchise and also Zoro in one piece i mean it's pretty insane so if you know us pretty well what's our favorite anime my so, hair academia exactly so i got all might signed not the weekend version we were actually contemplating which version to get signed so this bastard he took what i wanted him to huh. write on mine he got him to write tomorrow comes the movie smash and then he signed his name yeah. The cool thing about Christopher Sabat, like Colleen Clickenbeard, or like Amanda Miller, or your Sailor Jupiter, she can make that face all she wants. Um, they're actually really nice. I think voice actors are a lot nicer to meet versus like other media guests, because I always feel like they give you a lot of time. And Christopher Sabat's pretty legendary for, for what people told us about taking his time with the guest, and he actually found the Tomorrow Comes movies smash pretty hilarious. And uh, I don't really like selfies, but... His selfies are His worth selfies it. are pretty funny. So, and you'll see all the photos of of our signed things together. But very excited to get this All Might signed. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, Chris and I have got a lot of My Hero signed. You can see one right there. But Sabat was one of the few that has not Where? been signed. I meant oh, like in the, the link. Video. Yeah, the link. Oh, yeah. Was like... This is in post. So I got this pop signed at ECCC, and then I told Chris because at the time. The next week after ECCC, it would be C2E2 Chicago. I said, well, he's going to be there. So Chris is like, I'll just get mine signed at that convention. Mm-hmm. You get your sign there. We had no idea that Sabat was. Oh, my God. The line yes. is insane. So real quick, Chris, tell them how insane this line was. People, they need to get Christopher Sabat his own like area. They do. Because his line is ridiculous to the point where they had to make an overflow area be- that's not even a real like holding area because people were just getting a little kind of aggressive and rowdy because they want to get in line and seek in line they kept capping the line you so you want to tell them what we had to do it before that overflow that was so ridiculous they said keep walking around so we just made a we just made, so we a, made big, a big old loop yeah we just made a big like oval shape it was ridiculous and then what was really frustrating about it was Chris and I were willing to listen to people. It wasn't the problem. We were willing to listen to the employees because I understand. It's it's a nightmare. Every time we go in that loop, all the people that were in front of us originally got into the line and then they Pretty much it. the ones that were not compliant with walking around, the ones that waited around, they got into the line. Mm-hmm. And then finally, you know, Chris had just waited on the side and they were like, you know, they were getting irritated with the people. But finally, Chris and a lot of other people voiced their opinion mm-hmm. was like, hey. This is ridiculous. People keep getting in line. And you keep telling us to come back. But other people who barely show up get in line. So they made that overflow line. But at the end of the day, I mean, was Sabat worth it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I actually like his, his signature as well. And Just know for Christopher Sabat, you will have to wait at least one to three hours. Or four, they were saying at one or point. Four. And it's worth but it. But he is worth every minute. Yeah, he it. takes his time with you. He talks to you. And you don't feel rushed. No. 
and uh, he had that Vegeta pop, his over 9,000 exclusive. Mm -hmm. I saw it at that convention, not thinking how big of a deal it was, and I regret it now because I should have bought it at that convention Mm because someone told me as we were leaving the, the line what the big deal about that pop was. I thought he just had extra pops. I did not pay attention to it, but... Yeah, put it on the list, right? That's what we did. I just put it on the wish list. That's yeah. all we did. So we'll see if Krista got her pop signed at C2E2. I don't know why I did such a like a I don't know I don't why you did that either. That would have been the last pop. But as Krista said, at the Viz Media booth, excuse me, real quick. No, I'm just kidding. Um, One Punch Man season two is debuting, and like Chris said previously in the ep- earlier in this uh episode, I, I think it were in a podcast, but earlier in this video. Zach Aguilar, who voices Genos, the dub version, was also there. So I brought something that is currently, recently announced as... Volted. Volted. So I'm going to unveil it. Genos. One Punch Man. This is just recently Volted. This is Chris's favorite character. And it's not my pop. And, uh, no, it's my pop, but... So if anyone sees a Genos that is not ridiculously priced... Please hit us up. What's ridiculously priced? Like, what's ridiculously priced? Here? I won't pay more than fifty for it. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, we might be able to get that done today. Then. Yeah. We might be able to get that done today. All yeah. right. So, real quick here. So, this Genos pop is Volton, and Chris and I found out. I think a little bit before, um, ECCCC, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and we got this at ALA. No. Yes. 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 Yes, we did. Yes, yes. we did. So I think for ten dollars. I think and I thought it was mine. It was one of the other halls. He says it's his. It's mine. Not fair. No. He's my favorite. You know why? Because somewhere back there, I see a. I see that chrome right there. Do you right see there. Saitama? That's his favorite. He got it signed. Jealous is my favorite, and he got to keep it. I got it signed. signed. So I Not got it signed to the podcast. He's so and selfish. It was so funny. Is that Zach Aguilar was saying that he wishes he invested. <laughs> But I asked him if he had some. He said he had some. I said, these are vaulted, so you're in good business. So, um, pretty cool to get it signed. And it was, uh, like I said, it, I would have paid for it. But mm-hmm. Viz Media was doing a free signing, and this is Viz Media related. So, I'm very excited to have this in my collection. Like, Chris has the Batman Chrome from ECCC Grail. This is officially my Grail. And then it's hard to see. It's my Grail. We, we, we're trying a new filming area. But if Patrick moves out of the way... I don't want to let the pop get out of the way. I have a Tenya Ida signed right there by the voice actor. Okay, going back to this grill, though. Yeah, very cool. Uh, the only downfall is it did take some extensive some damage. Extensive damage. The plastic in, and then other pops went down while he did that. Um, the only thing... I, I, I personally don't <laughs> it's think fine. it's a big problem. It is. But according to Patrick, it is. The plastic got smashed right there. there. And then there. And then where? And then it got smashed. Here, show him. Back up. It got smashed there. And then inside by his body, it got smashed. So I had to pull it out. And it was not easy to open that. And I messed it up a little bit. And then this pop already had I damage. I dramatic. So on the way back from the plane, it, it you know, on, on the way home, I noticed it, it, it got some damage. It's so hard to say this. That's why I'm getting stuttering and all that. Both of us ended up investing in pop stacks so these things we saw at the sabat line was a lot of them were putting them in this and so chris and i ended up finding out these aren't really that expensive like we thought and this is the way to travel with them because they'll protect your pop and just be careful though because we learned the hard way too it opens <laughs> from both sides but chris go ahead and put that pop in there i just want people to see this i'm afraid i've been dropping this pops lately yeah she actually dropped this one too i think no there you go look at that grail this is a great alert. Look at that. So, not bad, right? Not bad. So, this is the end. So, we're going to do Pick of the Pop, which is our favorite pop from the hall. Only one pop. So, I will give Chris a... The only pop Chris I got. Yeah. And... No ties. No ties. All right. Ready to unveil. One, two, three. Shocker. Grail alert. Grail alert. So, Genos, Sailor Jupiter, which we both got signed free at the Viz Media booth. So shout out to Viz Media, and uh, I think at the end of the day, Chris and I both would have paid for these, honestly, because oh, yeah. it was pretty cool. So this is the end of the video. If you like what you see, Chris, what should they do? Give it a thumbs up. And then after that, if they really love it, 
subscribe. And if they love it even more and they want to stay up to date, what should they do? Turn on your bell notifications. All right. And also, we do a podcast where we talk beyond movies, including Funko, anime, movie, TV, comics, video games, Lion King. I mean, all kinds of things. And you can get that available on all platforms, including YouTube, Spotify, iHeartRadio, SoundCloud, and more. And we also do con coverage of toy, anime, gaming, comic, where we do walkthroughs, uh, interviews, uh, Funko Pop hunting, Funko hauls, we get other things. And we also do uh, celebrity interviews when it comes to movies, TVs, comics, uh, sometimes outside of cons. And it, get, it debuts exclusively on the podcast ahead of time, and then it comes on YouTube, so... Definitely check it out. And, of course, once again, thank you to Viz Media for allowing us to get these signed. Grail alert. Pretty awesome alert. And that is it. So, have a good night. Have a good pop. This, my friend, in terms of value, will never drop.